Hey, how's it going guys? Eberver94 back with another action figure review. And this time around we're going to take a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro line. We're going to start it off with Peter Parker, since a lot of people are pretty excited for this one, myself included. So, let's get right into it. So, this is the new retro line for specifically Spider-Man. And these are very cool. I'm very excited for these. And you can see the box art here. Uh, it's in this old retro Toy Biz style packaging. We got Peter Parker on the side with the half masked face and the half unmasked face. Got the camera there, everything's shown. And on the back side, nothing on the sides there, but on the back side we got the rest of the wave, including a little read up. So overall, I do like the design of the box. Um, it's going to paint a lot of mint on card collectors to open it up, that's for sure. Uh, the back read up does read Peter Parker is the college student and photojournalist who is secretly the amazing Spider Man. And we can take a glance at the rest of the wave here, which is Spider Man suited. Uh, we have Marvel's Electro, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, and Daredevil. And if you guys are interested in picking up a set of these retro Spider Man figures, you can do so at BigBadToyStore.com. Link is in the description below. So first up, we have Peter Parker, and Peter Parker comes with a new buck here, new body. I believe the legs might be reused, but the shoes, they don't look familiar to me in this uh, this top, this jacket. Uh, this is definitely brand new. First thing that I, uh, you know, thought about is head swapping and putting other random heads onto this body, making a lot of civilians out of this body mold here. Uh, would be pretty cool. So one thing I did notice is that he's a little on the light side when it comes to the accessories. He just comes with the head, extra head, and the camera. So that's all he comes with right there. And there is a closer shot at the head. So here's the side with the mask. The line works pretty, pretty good. I like how it's done there. And here's the side with the face. So very cool. I think they did a good job here. There's just some slight bleeding, as you see on the nose, from the red onto the skin, but it's nothing too serious, and it's probably just on my specific figure. I'm sure they vary, so you're going to want to look at uh, your options if you have multiple ones in your hands and pick out the best one. But overall, it's a pretty clean job, and it looks good. So I can't really complain about this. Here it looks good. And then here we have the camera up close. It's all black got the silver for the flash there and that's about it there's no strap unfortunately so you can only have him holding it in his hand which he does have open hands to grip the camera with We've got the right hand and then we have the left hand here and now we're up and close with the figure itself you can see the big glasses here big goggle looking glasses they look like doc ock glasses and these are actually molded or glued on so they're not removable unless you tear it off which i'm sure you can it's only glued on the sides there so you can actually slide it up like this and you can still see his eyes so that's pretty cool but you cannot remove it uh, it is stuck on there unless you of course rip it off and then for the rest of the figure you can see the texture and detail of the jacket. You can see the zipper is actually sculpted there too. So that's pretty nice. Onto the back. Good sculpt going on there. We do get the factory letters in, in white shown there. So that's a little annoying, but whatever. The pants and then down to the ankles and the feet, the shoes. For some reason, the ankles are a different white than the actual shoe. It looks like they actually painted the ankles or the socks. I don't know what you want to call that. And the, the shoes are just plastic white, so they're very different, as you see there. All right, so when it comes to his articulation, we got the head on a ball jointed hinge there. So he does move 360 degrees left and right. So he does look up about that far up and then down that far down. A little bit of a gap between the head and the neck there. We can also do get a little head tilt as well. Anyways, the arms are going to go forward and back. It's of course, obviously, this jacket, I mean, it is removable, but the sleeves are sculpted, so it's going to look stupid if you remove that. Um, but arms go forward, in and out, about that far there. We've got the bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel at the wrist with a side hinge on this one right here for the right hand. And then we have a regular hinge for the left hand there. 
And then we do get an ab crunch at the torso with a waist swivel. Legs are T-jointed so they will kick forward about that far there. Back down, in and out, thigh swivels, double jointed knees, got the ankle on a hinge and then that ankle rocker for the foot of course. When it comes to holding the camera, he can hold it just fine. And then the other hand of course, you can get both hands to grab it. And of course with time and patience you can get a better holding pose, but I'm just doing this real quick on camera just to show that you can have both hands holding the camera right there. And then here he is with the alternate head attached onto the body. So you can look at that on the figure. This was a tighter fit though, I'm trying to attach this head onto this body. Definitely a tighter fit for sure. Um, as you see, it's kind of pulling out the neck piece completely. Um, so super tight fit. I've seen that before with Marvel Legends. For some reason, the main head attached on the figure is uh, easier to remove and attach compared to the alternate head. So next to some other figures, some other Marvel Legends. First up, I'll throw in the 80th anniversary Captain Mirko. I like that figure a lot. And I also do like this figure a lot. This is the Weapon X from the X-Men wave. Next up, I'll put him next to a suited figure. And this is the Agent Coulson body, but I did throw on a Tony Stark head on there, which kind of looks a little small, but it is what it is. And then I'll throw in the Almighty Pizza Spider-Man figure. Everyone's favorite. Let's see if I can get him to stand. So next to Peter Parker, there's our Pizza Spidey. And then this is Pizza Spidey 2.0. This is the one that came in the vintage retro card line. Uh, so it's the same figure, slightly different paint job. And then we have the Space Venom, a uh, teenager, more of a teenager there. Um, Peter Parker, Spider-Man there. And next to some ladies, we have Jubilee and Rogue. And then as always, you know, I gotta do some random comparisons. We have the Mayfex Amazing Spider-Man. And then we have the NECA, Raphael. Alright, so something I do want to try out before I end the video is a couple of head swaps. So I got a pile of heads here that I got from my spare parts bin. So let's just go ahead and do some random stuff. So this is, I believe, is the crit, uh, Chris Pratt head for the Star-Lord. And I actually pegged it very well. It's on there snug. It looks like it's the same um, peg hole size. Let's uh, pan out here for a second. All right, so there we go. That's a little better. Now we can see a little bit more of the figure. So yeah, I think that works out as a civilian. Why not? You can have a civilian in the background walking and it doesn't really look like Star-Lord to me. So that kind of works out. I mean, that can pass along as a civilian on the street for some of your ACBA scenes and stuff like that. So that's cool. Next up, I have this old uh captain america head which was i guess meant to be chris evans i think or maybe just a random captain america but this one does not fit in the peg hole um this one just kind of sits there and it's kind of small for the body too so it doesn't look too good the skin tones aren't that off though oh my this is the agent colston head uh that does not fit at all that peg hole is way too small can't even force that one in so that's not gonna work out here we have the Tony Stark head. This is the one that came with the 80th anniversary figure of Iron Man. And you know what, man? This looks pretty cool. I mean, it's a little on the big side. And the peg hole is kind of small. I actually managed to fit the peg inside. It's very tight right now. But it, it works. And the skin tones aren't that off. And this is pretty cool. It's just a little on the bigger scale size for this body for sure. It looks like he has a giant head. Uh, but there is the Tony Stark head. This is the uh, more of a comic book looking Tony Stark head. This is the one from the Invincible Iron Man release and the Black Panther Marvel Legends wave. This one does not fit either. Um, and it's kind of small and slim. I guess if it would set in, it would it would look okay. Uh, skin tones are a little off though. Next up we have the Spider-Man head that came with Cosmic Spider-Man. This is the unmasked head with the beard. And this one matches very well in the skin tone area. Uh, very tight fit. The peg hole is a little bit smaller than the actual peg here. So you got to force this one in. But it's not as small as the other ones that I could not fit in. Definitely looks good as a civilian there. Um, 
look at that you don't even realize that's uh spider-man there or anyone else that looks good so so far this one and star lord's face looks really good on this body and also the uh, i guess the tony stark one just a little big but that's uh that's a runner up i think here we have nick fury on his day off in casual clothes uh, this head fits in the peg skin tones don't match 100% um, he's actually um, a tight fit too but I don't know the head looks a little off maybe the neck is a little too extended but still you can play around with it and make it work if you want to have Nick Fury look like this so this is the daredevil head uh, the Walgreens daredevil I want to say um, and yeah super super orange looks like he's been sun tanning only his head and only his face got tanned this does not work skin tone wise but the head does fit in the peg then we're gonna wrap it up with Deadpool just threw that one on there I knew that was not gonna match with skin tones but it looks good uh, nonetheless even though it looks like he's just wearing a mask right now uh, I'm looking for my Stanley unfortunately I can't find Stanley of all figures right oh my gosh that would look good on this body hopefully that head would fit on here if I find it, I shall post a picture up on Instagram if I, if I find that Stanley and see if I could uh, fit it on this body. But I looked everywhere. I'm tired of looking, so sorry. This is literally the first civilian clothed Peter Parker Marvel Legend that we've gotten. I think it's great. I think it's going to be a fan favorite. It's very nicely done. And it gives a lot of options, a lot of playability when it comes to swapping heads. That was just a handful of heads that I grabbed from my spare parts bin. Um, plenty of other heads that people can try and swap with this figure for sure uh, I did try an attempt to try to get the camera close to his face like as if he was looking down the viewfinder the uh, the lens or whatever you want to call it uh, but it's very difficult to do it it's not built even with the double jointed elbows not gonna really happen uh, so I just had him like he's taking a shot I don't know with his arms extended out but I'm sure other people can probably uh, play around with it and get it uh, looking a little bit better Alright guys, and that concludes my review of the Peter Parker figure from the Spider-Man Retro Marvel Legends wave. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Stay tuned for more figures from this wave. I'm going to review them all for you guys and give you guys a good look at these figures so you can figure out whether or not you should buy them or not. You know, that's what these are for. So stay tuned for that. Next up, I'm going to probably do Green Goblin. So stay tuned. So leave a like if you liked the video, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and as always, have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.